that you saw first on two, Jeff Luno, the former general manager for the Houston Astros, filing a lawsuit against the ball club. Luno claims that he was scapegoated following his alleged involvement in the team's sign-stealing scandal. His complaint matching what he told our Vanessa Richardson in an exclusive interview just last month. Vanessa is live outside Minute Maid Park tonight with this developing story that has the whole sports world talking still tonight. Vanessa? Hi, Chris and Lauren, and what a lot of people seem to be talking about is the sheer amount of money involved in this lawsuit. Will the Astros have to pay Jeff Luno the almost $22 million plus that he was owed through 2025 until, of course, he was fired with cause? But this lawsuit is about a lot more than money. It's about Jeff Luno again claiming his innocence. In early October, Jeff Luno reiterated to KPRC he had evidence he wasn't in on the Astros cheating. I got access to about 22,000 text messages that were from personnel in the video room. And it was clear from those messages that they were communicating back and forth about the rule violations. The 17-page lawsuit filed Monday morning mentions that evidence, claiming Luno's innocence. And KPRC legal analyst Brian Weiss says it's a strong lawsuit. But the second thing that literally leapt off the page was this plan, some would say a plot, on behalf of the Astros and Rob Manfred, commissioner of MLB, to essentially offer up Jeff Luno is a sacrificial lamb. So what comes next and how long will this last? The Astros will have 30 days to file an answer, plain and simply to get their side of events into the public forum. And other than, I know you are, but what am I, which generally doesn't work <laughs> well in court, what we'll see is just a general denial because the burden is on Jeff Luna to prove his allegations by a preponderance of the evidence. in our exclusive interview, Jeff Luno kept talking about a ringleader, but he didn't name names. While well, this lawsuit names names, a guy named Tom Kochweiser, who still works with the Astros, is what the lawsuit says was the ringleader. He was the ringleader of this entire sign stealing scandal. I did hear back from the Astros about an hour ago, and they said they plan on giving. Uh, they do not plan, excuse me, on giving a comment. At Minute Maid Park, Vanessa Richardson, KPRC Channel 2 Sports. And